Hey guys, welcome to Rock and Roll Rugby. And in this one, we're actually going to be reacting to Scotland versus Italy. Now, we know Scotland, we want to see how they're going to be performing um, in their warm up matches before this World Cup. Especially me as a Springbok supporter, very curious to see because the Springboks has not really looked amazing. We don't know if they'll still find better form. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting for me to see how Scotland does because Scotland's also coming very, uh, coming with a very different angle here. And we can see Townsend, since he's been the coach, he's really, I mean, done amazing things. He's moved Scotland up to fifth in the world. So they're doing really well. Uh, but, I mean, he's, 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 he's actually fielding an interesting team today with a lot of inexperienced guys, you know. Uh, you've got guys like um, Ben Healy on, on, on 10, which has got one cap, you, you know. Um, he's made... He's made the the, the uh, captain uh, Rory Dodge from Glasgow uh, Warriors with only seven caps. You know, Luke Crosby uh, on six with only four caps. So there's there's really a lot of new guys that he's bringing into the team. Um, on centre, he's got Stefan McDowell from Glasgow Warriors uncapped. So he's brought in. I see quite a lot of Glasgow Warriors players into this team. Uh, Ollie Smith's coming. He's bringing in on on uh, fullback. Uh, also from Glasgow Warriors. So bringing a lot of Glasgow Warriors team, obviously because of their success in the URC, bringing them into the mix for this game. And um, basically it seems like he's also experimenting to bring up his the youth, bringing new guys in to create depth in the Scotland team. So when he gets to the World Cup, he's got enough options. Very, very clever coach Townsend. Let's not put that past him. But let's react right to the video and see how it goes. Well, one of their players said they weren't going to the World Cup to finish second. Huh. He might be right. They could be going to exit after the... So, I mean, and, and it's quite possible that Scotland could end first in that pool with either Ireland or Springbok second and the other team falling out. Can happen. If you look at the form that Scotland's had. By the way, I mentioned all the new guys, but you still got, like, Kyle, Kyle Stay in there, Darcy Graham. So, you still got some experience in the team let's see let's just keep remembering also Italy plays in the Six Nations so don't write them off oh too easy the teams are using the cross kick so well lately Darcy Graham going through there and um, a lot of guys starting to use the cross kick super well. Um, it's something that seems to be working very well. See, the Springboks also tried it against Argentina, but they weren't as successful. It's it's also something to practice, you know. Let's see. Italy. Yeah. Get their first points on the board. You give him chance in space. Away the way that Italy want to play. And Crowley. Italy getting another penalty, and that means off off on on the halfway mark. One point ahead of Scotland. And I think that's another thing we gotta not forget. We still got Italy in there, and you can never forget about them. They can also have a shot. Pump a channel around the corner. Hanafia tries to get under the ball. Ben O'Keefe. The scrum half. All these guys can make an impact. Try not awarded, obviously. The new Scottish friend Rowan now can make an impact. Suddenly gone from. Winning that scrum. Scotland winning that scrum. That means they can now. Probably go ahead again. Gregor Townsend has to consider before he names his. You've got a tight game, it's going to be tight, I'm sure, but you get in these positions, you've got to get, you've got to come away with the points. Yeah, you really want to feel Scotland's got to do something with this opportunity. It's a great place to be scrumming. Italy scrum looking really strong, eh? They are holding Scotland. Oh! Darcy Graham is just such class, man. I mean, he, ra he literally seemed like he just slipped underneath everyone. It's 
now his second try for the game. Not the biggest guy, but also so elusive. So elusive. And Italy now coming back at it. Can they set? Can Scotland get their hands on the ball? They can't. Now it's Mori. It's a great position for the Italians. They must score. Oh! The Italy saying, don't write us off. Don't write us off. A try better than him. A line out caller for the Leicester Tigers in the Premiership. We'll see how he gets on. Right to the middle. And this is, this is like a Six Nations game, man. Tommy Allen after the try and this. Johane scoring there. Torbisi feeds that Italian scrum. Was under a lot of pressure. It was folding horribly. That's the thing. The only thing at the moment you can see Italy's scrum struggling against Scotland. Well, I think you had to in the, in the nicest possible way. And I think that's what the rugby has to do. Everyone has to change a little bit to make more people come Six minutes to go. And, um, yeah. Oh, and Scotland breaking here. Oh, but they're out the side. I think there was a little bit of um, crossing, but it was blocking. There you go. Can Italy still have a last opportunity? No, it looks like Scotland should kill this now. Scotland's still running it, which is interesting. Carl Stein, can he do something here? He's still cutting in. Is that not Stein? Oh, it's Smith, Oli Smith. Oh, running it, giving it air. And can they do something with this? Yes, they will. And just putting it, uh, you know, a ribbon on it and saying, look, even though they struggled against Italy, at the end of the day, it's going to be a pretty decent score. Italy is no pushover, by the way. Beautifully curved in, guys. So 25-13. So there you go. 25-13, Scotland beat Italy there. And let's, let's be honest, Italy was in the game for most uh, of it, you know. It could have gone anyway. And you can see Italy's developed so much. By playing in the Six Nations. And another team that you cannot write off in this World Cup is Italy. Um, to me, when I'm looking at this performance, Scotland looks decent. They got a lot of new uh, names on the field. So um, that's also got to be said. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. If, if the Springboks have an off game, there's a possibility in that first game against the Springboks they could beat them. But it's not that they're looking as convincing themselves uh, leading up to this World Cup from what I've seen now in this game. We will see as we go along how the teams develop. But at this point, I must say Scotland's not to me looking dangerous as I've seen them look before in Six Nations. But then again, they are experimenting with new guys in the team. Um, some young blood they're trying to bring in there. So we will see. It's going to be interesting to see um, how this all plays out because... All these games pre-World Cup, these warm-up matches will give you a very good inclination of where these teams are before the World Cup. Guys, if you enjoyed my reaction to this, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.